Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at the cell cycle. Now, I chose this picture here because it shows all of the steps of the cell cycle. Um, it doesn't show all the details of mitosis, which is one of the steps, but it does show the main steps of the cell cycle. So let's take a closer look at the cell cycle and mitosis. So what you should be able to do by the end of the lesson is describe the reasons for the cell cycle and to list and describe the steps of the cell cycle, including all the steps to mitosis, in order. So first of all, the purpose of cell division. Uh, in order to reproduce, cells need to divide. In order to grow, so for an organism, a multicellular organism, in order to grow, it needs to go through cell cycle. And to repair or replace old and damaged cells, you need to create more cells to, in order to take the place of those old or damaged cells. So let's take a look at the steps of the cell cycle. There are three steps. The first is interphase, and that's shown in the blue part. So those blue arrows there, that's interphase. And it's split into three different parts. G1, or GAP1, S, which stands for synthesis, and G2, or GAP2. So that, although all three of those are part of interphase. And then we have what's shown in brown there, which is mitosis. And there are several steps to mitosis. We'll see that in, a, I think, the next slide or a couple slides from now. And then the last one shown in purple is cytokinesis. So those are the three parts of the cell cycle, interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. So let's start off with interphase. What happens is in the gap one, all of the different parts, except for the chromosomes, all of the different parts of the cell duplicate. So uh, the mitochondria will duplicate, or the uh, endoplasmic reticulum will duplicate. So all of the different parts will double because you're going to end up with two different cells, so you need more of each of the different organelles. In the S phase, all of the chromosomes double, so all of the DNA becomes doubled. And then in G2, or GAP2, the cell actually goes back and checks that the chromosomes have been properly duplicated, so that there weren't any mistakes. If there are mistakes, then you can end up with mutated cells, or you can even end up with cancer. So let's take a closer look at the steps to mitosis. So here we have prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, or telophase. So those are the steps of mitosis, and you should know all of these in order and what happens. So let's take a look at what happens in each of these steps. In prophase, you get the chromosomes that start to condense. So normally all the DNA in the cell is almost like a little bit of spaghetti on a plate. It's sort of jumbled up a little bit. And in this step, they start to condense. So all of the parts that are of the same chromosome start to come together and they form these little X-shaped structures. So it's almost like if you took each individual strand of spaghetti and coiled it all together so that you have little piles of the individual spaghetti noodles. So that's what's happening. The chromosomes are condensing. Also, the, the membrane around the nucleus starts to dissolve, so it goes away. And things called spindle fibers start to appear and they approach towards those chromosomes. So that's prophase. Prometaphase, the chromosomes finish condensing and those spindle fibers actually attach to the chromosomes. Then in metaphase, all of the chromosomes align along the metaphase plate or the center of the cell. And so you're going to end up uh, trying to get one of each of the pairs of chromosomes on each side of the metaphase plate. So that way when the chromosomes separate, you're going to have one chromosome go towards one end and the other chromosome go towards the other end. So they line up along the metaphase plate in metaphase. In anaphase, one of each of the sister chromosomes starts to go towards the separate poles of the cell. So they get pulled apart by those spindle fibers so that one is at one pole and the other is at the other pole and that happens for each of the different chromosomes. And then in telophase, you get the membrane that starts to form back around the chromosomes and you get all of the other uh, different um, 
organelles that sort of start to move towards the different poles. And then finally, we have cytokinesis. This is separate from mitosis. So this is our third step to the cell cycle. In cytokinesis, our separate step, this is when all of those organelles are completely separated to the poles and the cell membrane starts to pinch off so that you end up with two separate cells. So originally we almost have like one big long oval cell as the uh, chromosomes and as the organelles separate, and here's where it pinches off in the middle so that it can create two separate round cells. So if we take a look at this picture here, this is actually in a plant cell, um, and we can see some of the different steps of mitosis, or sorry, some of the different steps of the cell cycle, including some of the steps of mitosis. So most of the cells there are in interphase. So you can see a dark pink area, that's the chromosomes that are there in the nucleus, and then there's a dark purple area inside, which is the nucleolus. We won't worry too much about the nucleolus for right now, but the dark pink area, those are the chromosomes, and they're all sort of mixed up like spaghetti. If you take a look in the top row there, close to the right side, you can see one where the chromosomes are condensed, and they're all in a line, a vertical line. So we know that's metaphase because all the chromosomes have aligned along the middle of the cell. There's another one in metaphase right near the center of that picture. This one, it's on a little bit of an angle, but there's still a lines along the center of the cell. Uh, we can see, let's see, there's um, in the second row from the top, a little bit to the right of the center, you can see a cell that's in anaphase. So you can see two sets of chromosomes at either of the poles of the cell. So this, the chromosomes are still condensed at this point, and you can see two little scrambles of chromosomes at each pole of the cell. Um, and then we can also see some cells that are either prophase or prometaphase where the chromosomes are starting to condense uh, towards the bottom, uh, near the center of the picture, towards the bottom. There's a cell you can see, it almost looks like the nucleus is a little bit speckled. Uh, there's another one uh, towards the bottom on the left. Again, you can see the nucleus looks a little bit speckled, and those are the chromosomes starting to condense. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe the reasons for the cell cycle. You should be able to list and describe the steps of the cell cycle, including all of the steps of mitosis, and you should be able to do this in order. If you can do all these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.